there, it's Nathalie. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a little minute since I've made a video. A friend of mine gave me this bench, and so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to reupholster this bench. It's kind of got a little cave down here, so a little bump where she's really used it. So I have my stapler and the screwdriver to take the top off, a pair of scissors, and this new foam dense uh, poly foam stuff. It's not foam rubber. It's a dense fiber field. That's what I'm going to use to cushion that low spot in there. And so we'll just go ahead and get started. There's These little screws are the ones that hold the seat on. So I've got this little screwdriver or I've got my handy dandy battery powered save my little hands kind of deal. There we go. Move that to the side and we'll clean the dust and all that stuff off of that later on. Put these screws where I don't lose them. I think I'm going to cover this also with drop cloth. And you can see that's pretty that's pretty stained right there. See, I just cut through this with scissors, and this is like a two-inch high-density foam. It's called New Foam. Uh, the lady at the fabric store, she cut it with an electric knife, like a carving knife like you would use for turkey. And so what I did is I had my big piece of foam, and I laid it out, and I laid my, my uh, seat on here, and then went around it with a Sharpie, because I think I forgot to do this. And then I cut it with my scissors, but you could cut it with a knife. And if you had a big, strong X-Acto knife, you could do it with that, too. That, I am going to cover this with drop cloth, but I want to talk to you just a little bit about drop cloth. Okay, so this is one. This is what Walmart used to carry a long time ago. Let me see if that will refocus there. And it's a really nice, close weave. I don't know if you can see that or not. So this is the one that they have now. And, I mean, I'll look every now and then to see if I can find something. And so this one is a really loose weave and it's kind of slubby. And it also has quite a few imperfections in it. And so if you're looking for perfection, you may want to buy something other than drop cloth. You may want to just go ahead and buy a regular piece of, you know, upholstery fabric. But I am going to use drop cloth. And so I have this piece, and it's kind of in between these two and uh, so it has a, a closer not this super tight like this one which is almost like canvas this one is uh, let me show you up close again a little bit tighter weave and I know that it's, it's kind of hard to see that but anyway and there's a little bit of an imperfection that runs right through here uh, and there's a big one so whenever you're using drop cloth, you need, and this one is seamed together. So if you're using it for paint drop cloth, it's not a big deal. But if you're using it for a curtain or bed skirt, which I've done that, those are over on my blog where I uh, made curtains with drop cloths. This one has a, a pull in it someplace that I wanted to show you. So you just watch for that kind of stuff. Like there's a, a big nasty pull right there. All right. So I want to make sure I have plenty to go around my fiber fill and staples. So I think I'm going to leave maybe about six inches all the way around on this. I decided to get rid of the original cover and uh, I think whenever I pull this up and the way that the corners were gonna feel and everything, I didn't like that. So just going to cut this. I made a little slice with a razor knife to get this started. I'll probably leave this back on. I don't see any reason to take that off. I've got a little bit, oh, like maybe about a half an inch on each of the corners so that it's not just like an exposed corner. So it'll actually, whenever I pull the fabric around, it'll kind of cushion that corner just a little bit. So it's not just wood against fabric. Now, you know if you've watched my videos before, I just like to do this stuff. I'm not a professional. So if you, you know, if you like the videos, 
fine. I'm sure you'll have better suggestions, but uh, I've never claimed to be a professional. I just like doing this kind of stuff. So I'm starting in the middle, and I'm going to go across and pull and staple again. Make sure that I don't staple into my hole that is the attachment hole, which is right there. And then I'm going to do the sides, and then I'll work back around. I love this stapler. It's an arrow stapler, and it has a safety on it. So until you mash down, it's not going to fire. And let me see if I'm kind of smooth across the top, and I am. And so go back and ease into our corners. Smooth that out. My daughter-in-law has borrowed my staples, and so she'll be here in a little bit to bring me some more staples. Okay, let's talk about this corner. So this is the way that it looks from the front, right there. Okay, and so it doesn't have a fold in it. it and I don't know that there's a particular technique for this corner, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm just a DIYer. And so I'm going to pull this around where it's smooth. Staple almost to the corner, but not quite. And then do the same thing on this side. Pull almost to the corner, but not quite. And make sure I don't staple my fabric. So they're almost touching right here in this corner. And then I want to open this out. And just kind of round that. And pull it like that. Let me kind of tuck some of this in just a little bit more. Let me do this corner one more time. I have pulled this over, so here's my corner, and I'm about like if you were doing a 45. It's right there. And I'm going to pull this one around, kind of smooth it up. Make sure I don't staple in there. I guess it probably wouldn't hurt if I stapled it, but I don't want to. All right, and then pull from the middle. Let me cut off some of this excess. I should have already done that. All right, pull from the middle, but I want to tuck in the edges like that. Okay, I think it's done. I'm going to turn this over and get my bench. Put it in place and then see if I can remember where I put my screws. I'm sure I put them in a very safe place. I always do. Oh, yep, I found them. Yay! And let's see, there's the hole right there. 
to that side. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, of course. So, uh, I just want to say thank you for watching and uh, thank you for subscribing. I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers. I'm so excited about that. That's so cool. And, uh, I, you know, I couldn't do that without y'all. But if you're not a subscriber, I would love for you to... Whoops, what did I do? That's not good. Anyway, like I was saying before I lost my uh, little screw here, uh, if you're not a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe, like, share, you know, all the stuff. And uh, I have other DIY projects over on my blog, myhallcloset.com. I'd love for you to visit me there. There it is. This little bench covered with drop cloth. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.